Good morning, church. Welcome to day 21, final day of prayer and fasting. Uh, we are in for a brilliant day today. And uh, you must be excited about finishing our 21 days and being able to eat and enjoy. Uh, but today we want to finish strong and we want to pray for people for healing. Uh, because there are many people in our church who are just needing a touch from God and needing a healing. And we want to stand today and we want to contend for that. I want to firstly read a scripture from Acts 3 verse 16. And it says this in the New Living Translation. Through faith in the name of Jesus, this man was healed and you know how crippled he was before. Faith in Jesus' name has healed him before your very eyes. Um, now, my name is Michelle, if you don't know me. And so obviously when I was born, that's what my parents named me. And um, although it's got a pretty uh, epic name meaning, and I really love the meaning of my name, um, it doesn't have any power to heal. And um, today we come to the one who has all power in their name to heal. And that is an incredible thought. And so as we come today to pray for healing, we're, we're gonna pray not in any person's name other than in the name of Jesus. Uh, it was the lame man that was healed in the name of Jesus. And it has been others, many others over the years who've been healed in the name of Jesus. So um, we have a wonderful lady in our church, uh, Stella and Stella's brother. Um, he was diagnosed with a brain tumor in 2021. And in uh, he had an operation and it was successful. And then in 2023, it returned. Um, just before Christmas, um, he was told that the treatment had not worked, there was no improvement, and they actually gave him months to live. Um, so Stella and others were praying for him. And um, he came to Nights of Fire in January and he received prayer. And then he came back to church a couple of weeks later and he received prayer again. And, um, and this time, as um, one of our team were praying for him, he said that he felt almost like fire and something coming from his head. And in that moment, he believed that God had done something and had healed him. Um, he went back to the hospital recently and he had scans on his brain. And um, they were amazed to see that um, most of the tumours had gone and there was just a small tumour left on one side. And they couldn't explain it and they've said, we're able to treat that. It's just a small tumor that's left. And so he's currently receiving treatment for that. And he is looking well and he is keeping well. And we're just believing um, for a, a full healing and full recovery for him. But in that moment, he just felt the power of God touching him and something coming from his head. And just today, I want us to pray in the name of Jesus that people in our church are gonna feel the power of God. And literally today that they're gonna feel sicknesses being lifted off them and stuff just, yeah, just being taken from them today in the name of Jesus, because there is power in the name of Jesus. So we're just gonna pray together right now. And, um, and then we're gonna go into our day and we're just gonna continue to pray. You may meet someone today who is sick in their body and you wanna just encourage them and offer them today to pray for them and just simply say, hey, is it okay if we just pray together right now? And, um, and that is what we're gonna do. So God, we just wanna thank you that there is power in the name of Jesus. We thank you for what you are doing in people's lives and what you are gonna do today. And we thank you that you are the God who heals and Lord, you say that in your word. So Father, today, in the name of Jesus, we pray that many people in our church would receive a touch from you today, that it will be powerful, Lord, that today you would come and lift off sicknesses and illnesses from amongst people and people would feel the power of God touching them today. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, well, church, we are finishing strong today. It's gonna to be a brilliant day. Um, I want to encourage you that after this 21 days is finished, this is certainly not the end, that we are just continuing and we want to continue in a life of prayer. So whether you have built a new personal habit of prayer, whether you have been part of more of a corporate setting, you've joined 7am, you've been praying with your small group, we really want to encourage you to prioritise prayer in your life. You know, we are here Monday to Friday at 7am praying all year round. 
and so you are welcome to join us on any day of the week um so we love you we appreciate you thank you for standing and contending this month um we know that we're going to see many answers to prayer as a result uh, god bless you and have a great day bye